Welcome to Miss Scarlet. Subscribe and don't miss out on Patreon. Have fun! Mason stood in the doorway, his gaze fixed on the array of colorful shoes that filled the secret room. It had been two months since his grandfather's passing, and as he settled into his unexpected inheritance, shoe secrets. He couldn't shake the feeling that the store held more than just memories of his grandfather's love for footwear. The sun shone through the dusty window, casting a warm glow on the vibrant pumps, sandals, and stilettos that lined the shelves. Mason ran his finger along a pink satin pump, feeling a connection to his grandfather that he hadn't felt since his passing. He picked up the shoe, examining it. It was then that he noticed a difference in sizing. These shoes were smaller, a woman's size. Grandpa must have had a thing for women's shoes, he murmured, a mix of curiosity and confusion washing over him. As he continued to explore, he found a collection of clothing and accessories tucked away in a corner. Lacy dresses, silk scarves, and jewelry sparkled in the sunlight, revealing a hidden side to his grandfather that Mason never knew existed. This doesn't make sense he said to no one in particular. Grandpa was always so... straightforward. Never the type to keep secrets. The more Mason uncovered, the more intrigued he became. It was like discovering a hidden chapter in his grandfather's life, one that begged to be explored. Without thinking twice, he reached for a soft cashmere sweater, feeling the smooth fabric between his fingers. He brought it close, inhaling the familiar scent of his grandfather's cologne mixed with a hint of lavender. Trying it on can't hurt, he justified, his heart racing as he pulled the sweater over his head. The soft fabric fell comfortably around him, and he felt an unexpected sense of ease. It was as if the sweater held a piece of his grandfather's spirit, offering a comforting embrace. Next, he picked up a pair of black leather pumps, sliding his feet into them. The shoes were a perfect fit, as if they had been waiting for him all this time. He took a few tentative steps, feeling the click of the heels against the wooden floor. Hey, not bad? He smiled, his reflection in the mirror surprising him. The outfit, though not his usual style, gave him a sense of confidence and playfulness he hadn't felt in a while. As he turned to hang the clothes back up, a small book fell from the shelf, landing at his feet. Bending down, he picked it up, realizing it was a diary. Flipping through the pages, he recognized his grandfather's familiar scrawl. Dear Diary, Today I indulged in my secret pleasure. The feel of silk stockings, and a fine pair of heels lifted my spirits. Mason's eyes widened as he read, learning of his grandfather's long-held passion for cross-dressing. The diary entries detailed the joy and freedom his grandfather found in expressing his feminine side. It was a side of him that Mason never knew, and he felt a twinge of sadness that his grandfather had felt the need to keep this part of himself hidden. I can't believe Grandpa kept this from me, he whispered, running his fingers over the diary. But why? As he continued to read, he understood the weight of his grandfather's secret. It wasn't just about the clothes or the shoes. It was about finding solace in a world that often frowned upon such expressions of individuality. His grandfather's words jumped off the page, conveying a deep sense of liberation and joy. Who would have thought that a pair of heels could change my perspective so drastically? I feel like I'm finally embracing all aspects of myself. Mason's heart raced as he read, beginning to understand the transformative power that his grandfather had discovered. The shoe store, with its hidden room, wasn't just a business. It was a sanctuary a place where his grandfather could be his true self. This store holds more significance than I realized, Mason acknowledged, a sense of responsibility washing over him. 
Grandpa created a space where he could escape judgment and be at peace with himself. The days turned into weeks as Mason continued to uncover his grandfather's secrets, trying on different outfits and immersing himself in the diary entries. He learned of the challenges his grandfather faced, the careful hiding of his hobby from judgmental eyes, and the pure elation he felt when he could embrace his true self. I never knew you struggled with this, Grandpa, Mason said aloud one afternoon, the weight of his grandfather's secret weighing on him. If only I'd been here to offer support. Mason spent hours in the hidden room, trying on different personas with each outfit. He experimented with walks, postures, and gestures, his reflection in the mirror offering a transformative view. He felt empowered, understanding the appeal his grandfather had found in this hidden world. As time passed, Mason noticed a change within himself. The shoes and outfits, though initially just a curiosity, now represented a form of self-expression he had never explored before. He felt more confident, playful, and free, as if a part of him that had been dormant was now awakened. I get it now, Grandpa. He smiled, twirling in a vintage dress. This isn't just about the clothes. It's about embracing all facets of who we are. One quiet afternoon, as the sun shone through the window, illuminating the room with a warm glow, Mason made a decision. Setting down the diary, he ran his fingers over the smooth cover, feeling a connection to his grandfather that transcended their shared blood. I won't keep this room a secret anymore, he declared, his voice strong and resolute. Grandpa, I'm going to continue your legacy and transform this store into something special, a place that welcomes everyone, regardless of their preferences or identities. With newfound determination, Mason set out to revamp Shoe Secrets. He redesigned the store, creating a space that was bright, inviting, and uniquely inclusive. The once hidden room became a showcase, with careful curation to display the vibrant shoes and accessories. He wanted customers to feel the same sense of excitement and freedom that his grandfather had discovered. This shoe store is going to be like no other he told a friend who helped him rearrange the shelves. It's about more than just selling shoes. It's about offering an experience, a journey of self-discovery. Word spread quickly about the revamped shoe secrets, and soon, customers were flocking to the store. Some came purely out of curiosity, enticed by the vibrant window displays and the promise of a unique shopping experience. Others came seeking a safe haven, a place where they could explore their true selves without fear of judgment. I feel like I can truly be myself here, a young woman whispered, trying on a pair of bold purple heels. It's like this store gives me permission to embrace my unique style. Mason beamed with pride as he watched customers try on shoes, their faces lighting up as they discovered the perfect pair. He offered encouragement and support, understanding the impact that the right shoes could have on a person's sense of self. These shoes are more than just footwear, he told a hesitant customer. They are a form of self-expression. Don't be afraid to try something new. You might be surprised by how amazing you feel. Among the customers, Mason noticed a diverse range of individuals, each with their own story to tell. There were those who, like his grandfather, had hidden their true selves for fear of rejection. And there were those who boldly embraced their individuality, seeking footwear that reflected their unique personalities. I've been searching for a store like this my whole life, an elderly man confessed, his eyes shining as he fingered a silk scarf. A place where I can find shoes that match the person I am on the inside. The store buzzed with energy as people of all walks of life converged, each drawn to shoe secrets for their own reasons. The shoes became catalysts for conversations, with customers sharing stories, offering support, and celebrating their unique identities. I never knew shoes could be so powerful, a customer exclaimed, 
her arms loaded with boxes of shoes she couldn't bear to part with. I feel like I'm not just buying footwear here. I'm investing in a community. Mason's heart swelled as he witnessed the impact his revamped store was having. He understood the significance of what he had created, a safe haven where individuals could explore and embrace their true selves. It was the legacy his grandfather had started, and he was honored to continue it. Grandpa, I hope you're proud, he whispered one night as he locked up the store, the day's events playing back in his mind. Shoe Secrets is more than just a store now. It's a place of transformation and acceptance. As the months passed, Shoe Secrets established itself as a beloved fixture in the community. People came from far and wide, not just to buy shoes, but to be a part of the inclusive environment Mason had cultivated. The store had become a beacon of self-expression, a safe space where individuals could explore and embrace their unique identities. I heard about this place from a friend, a timid customer confessed, her eyes darting around the store. She told me it was a place where I could be myself, and she was right. Mason took pride in the stories customers shared, understanding the impact Shoe Secrets was having on people's lives. The store had become a launching pad for self-discovery, a place where individuals could take their first steps towards embracing their true selves. You never know how a pair of shoes might change your perspective, he told a customer who was hesitant to try on a pair of bold red heels. Give them a chance. They might just surprise you. Among the customers, Mason noticed a familiar face, an elderly woman who had become a regular visitor to the store. She would browse the shelves, her eyes sparkling with a mixture of nostalgia and joy. Often, she would strike up conversations with customers, sharing stories of her own experiences with self-discovery. Your grandfather would be proud of what you've done with the store, she told Mason one day, her voice soft and full of warmth. He always wanted this place to be a haven for those seeking something unique. Mason's eyes lit up as he realized this woman knew his grandfather. He seized the opportunity to learn more about the man he thought he had known so well. Did you know him well? He asked, his curiosity getting the better of him. I'm still learning about this side of him, and I'd love to hear your stories. The elderly woman, Miss Emerson, shared tales of his grandfather's kindness and how he had helped her embrace her own sense of style. She spoke of the care he had taken in ensuring that each customer found their perfect fit, both in terms of shoes and their true selves. He had a way of making people feel comfortable, she reminisced, a faraway look in her eyes. Your grandfather understood that shoes could be a powerful tool for self-acceptance. Mason listened intently, a sense of pride and admiration washing over him. He realized that his grandfather had touched the lives of so many, offering them not just footwear, but a chance to discover their true selves. I'm grateful that you shared that with me, Miss Emerson, he said sincerely, offering her a cup of tea. It means a lot to hear your stories and know that Grandpa made such a positive impact. Miss Emerson's visits became a regular occurrence, and with each visit, she shared more insights into his grandfather's life. She spoke of his passion for helping others, his unwavering support for the community, and his dream of creating a space where everyone felt welcome. He once told me that shoes were just the beginning, she confided, a smile playing at her lips. He wanted this store to be a catalyst for people to embrace their true identities, no matter how society labeled them. Mason's understanding of his grandfather deepened with each story. He realized that the store wasn't just a business venture for his grandfather. It was a labor of love, a way to make a positive impact on the world. I wish I could have told him how much I admire what he built, Mason said softly a note of sadness creeping into his voice. I hope I'm doing his legacy justice. Miss Emerson patted his hand reassuringly. You are, dear. Your grandfather would be overjoyed to see how you've continued his work and made it your own. 
Shoe Secrets is thriving because of your dedication and your willingness to embrace everyone who walks through that door. With Miss Emerson's words of encouragement, Mason felt a renewed sense of purpose. He threw himself into the store, curating new shoe collections, hosting themed events, and creating a space that welcomed everyone with open arms. This store is more than just a business, he told his staff one busy afternoon. It's a place of transformation and self-discovery. Let's make sure every customer who walks through that door feels seen and accepted. As the seasons changed, Shoe Secrets remained a bustling hub of activity. The store had become a destination, known far and wide for its unique offerings and inclusive atmosphere. Mason took pride in the community he had helped foster, knowing that his grandfather's legacy lived on through the lives touched within those four walls. I can't believe how much this store has changed my life. He confessed to Miss Emerson over tea one quiet afternoon. It's like Grandpa left me a treasure, but one that keeps on giving. Miss Emerson smiled warmly, her eyes shining with a mixture of affection and respect. Your grandfather would be honored to hear those words. He knew the power that shoes could have, how they could change not just our outward appearance, but our perspective on life itself. Mason nodded, feeling a deep sense of gratitude for the man who had given him so much more than a simple shoe store. I used to think shoes were just shoes, but now I understand that they can be a form of self-expression, a way to embrace our individuality. You know, it's funny, Miss Emerson mused, her eyes glinting with a playful light. Sometimes the simplest things, like a pair of shoes, can set us on a path we never anticipated. The sun shone through the window, casting a warm glow over the tea set on the table between them. Mason swirled the liquid in his cup, thinking back to the moment he had discovered his grandfather's secret room. He couldn't deny that his life had taken an unexpected turn, one that had led him to a deeper understanding of himself and others. You're absolutely right, Miss Emerson, he replied, setting down his cup. I never imagined that inheriting this store would lead me on such a transformative journey. Leaning forward, Miss Emerson's eyes sparkled with a mixture of curiosity and amusement. And I suspect it's a journey that's not quite over yet, is it? Mason couldn't help but smile, feeling a sense of anticipation and excitement. You know, I get the feeling that the best is yet to come. Little did he know how right he was. The following week, as Mason unlocked the front door of the store, he felt a buzz of energy in the air. The morning sunlight filtered through the window displays, casting a warm glow over the vibrant shoes on display. He took a moment to appreciate the space he had created, feeling a sense of pride and satisfaction. Mason, there's someone here to see you, called a cheerful voice from the back room. It was Lucy, his energetic assistant, who had become an integral part of the Shoe Secrets team. Who is it? He called back, hanging his coat on a nearby rack. A potential customer, Lucy replied, her voice laced with intrigue. But they're, well, they're a little shy, I think. Intrigued, Mason made his way toward the back. His curiosity peaked. As he rounded the corner, he spotted a figure standing by the shoe displays, their back turned to him. They were tall, with broad shoulders, and they seemed to be intently studying a pair of red stilettos. Hello? Mason greeted, his tone warm and welcoming. Can I help you find something? The figure froze for a moment, as if startled, before slowly turning around. Mason found himself looking into the eyes of a man, a handsome stranger with a hint of a beard and kind eyes. Oh, the man stammered, his voice deep and slightly unsteady. I, um, I was just browsing, thank you. Mason noticed the man's unease and sensed that there was more to this visit than met the eye. Feel free to take your time, he offered, his tone reassuring. Let me know if you'd like any assistance. 
I'm Mason, by the way, the owner of this fine establishment. The man's eyes widened slightly, and a faint smile played at the corners of his mouth. Nice to meet you, Mason. I'm... Well, I'm just looking for now. As the man turned back to the shoe display, Mason observed his body language, noticing the way he seemed to relax around the stilettos. There was something familiar about his demeanor, a sense of recognition in the way he handled the shoes. Intrigued, Mason decided to give the man some space to explore, keeping a discreet eye on him as he moved throughout the store. He noticed the man's lingering touches on certain shoes, the way he caressed the soft fabrics, and the subtle glances he cast toward the hidden room. Mason's curiosity grew, and he found himself drawn to this enigmatic customer. There was something about him that sparked a sense of connection, as if they shared a secret they hadn't yet uncovered. After a while, the man made his way back toward the front of the store, his eyes flitting around as if making a final decision. His gaze landed on Mason, and he offered a small, hesitant smile. Thank you for your time, he said, his voice a little steadier than before. I appreciate the unique selection you have here. Mason found himself wanting to know more about this man, to understand what had brought him to Shoe Secrets. There was a story there, he was sure of it, one that he felt compelled to uncover. It was nice to meet you, Mason replied, extending his hand. I hope to see you again. Perhaps next time we can chat more about our shared appreciation for extraordinary footwear. The man shook Mason's hand, his grip firm and warm. Perhaps, he said, his eyes holding Mason's for a brief moment before he turned to leave. Mason watched as the man exited the store, a flood of questions running through his mind. There was something about that encounter that felt significant, as if it held a deeper meaning that he couldn't quite grasp. Well, that was certainly interesting, Lucy remarked, appearing at Mason's side. I've never seen anyone handle our shoes with such reverence. Mason nodded, his eyes still fixed on the door through which the man had departed. There's definitely more to that customer than meets the eye. I wonder what his story is. He seemed nervous, Lucy observed, her sharp eyes taking in the man's body language. Maybe he's new to town or something. Shall I ask around and see if anyone knows him? Mason considered her suggestion, feeling a tug of curiosity. No, let's not pry, he decided, turning to face her. If he wants to remain anonymous, we should respect that. But I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of him. Little did he know how right he was. The days turned into a week and Mason found himself thinking about the mysterious customer often. There was an enigma surrounding the man that intrigued him, and he couldn't shake the feeling that their paths would cross again. You seem distracted today, Lucy commented one morning as she restocked the shoe shelves. Is something on your mind? Mason smiled, knowing he couldn't hide his thoughts from his perceptive assistant. I can't help but wonder about that customer from last week. There was something about him that stood out. Lucy's eyes lit up with curiosity. You mean the tall, mysterious stranger? I couldn't help but notice the way he lingered by the stilettos. There was definitely something unique about him. Exactly. Mason agreed, feeling a spark of excitement. I feel like there's a story there, something he's not ready to share yet. But I have a hunch he'll be back. Oh, the intrigue! Lucy exclaimed, setting down the box of shoes she was holding. Well, if he does return, I'm sure it'll be for a pair of our fabulous heels. Maybe he's a secret cross-dresser or something equally fascinating. Mason chuckled, amused by Lucy's imagination. We'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, we have a store to run. Let's focus on giving our customers the transformative experiences they're looking for. 
And so, they continued to cater to the diverse array of individuals who walked through their doors, each with their own story to tell and their own reasons for seeking out shoe secrets. As the weeks passed, Mason tried to put the mysterious customer out of his mind, focusing on the thriving business and the community he had built. But one quiet afternoon, as he was straightening the shelves, he felt a presence behind him. Can I help you find something? He turned to ask, and his breath caught in his throat. There, standing before him, was the man from before. This time, however, the man's eyes met his directly, and Mason saw a spark of recognition and something akin to relief. I, um, I hope you don't mind me dropping by again, the man said, his voice steadier than before but still carrying a hint of nervousness. I couldn't get this place out of my head. Mason felt a rush of warmth at the man's words, realizing that this customer had returned specifically to see him. Not at all, he replied, his tone welcoming. In fact, I'm glad you did. Would you like to talk in private? My office is this way. The man's eyes flickered with uncertainty for a moment, before he nodded. Yes, that would be nice. Thank you. As they made their way to the back room, Mason couldn't help but notice the man's relaxed posture, as if a weight had been lifted from his shoulders. There was a subtle change in his demeanor, a hint of openness that hadn't been there before. Once they were seated in Mason's small office, a sense of calm settled over them. The man seemed to relax further, his eyes taking in the familiar surroundings of the hidden room. I'm glad you felt comfortable enough to return, Mason said, his voice soft and encouraging. Is there something I can help you with? A particular pair of shoes you're looking for? The man took a deep breath, his eyes never leaving Mason's. Actually, it's not about the shoes, he confessed, his voice quiet but steady. It's about me. Mason felt his heart quicken, sensing that this moment was significant. He stayed silent, giving the man the space to continue. The man paused, his eyes flicking downward for a moment before meeting Mason's again. You see, I've been struggling with something for a long time, something I've kept hidden, even from myself. Mason listened intently, his curiosity and empathy mingling within him. He knew that this man was on the cusp of a personal revelation, and he wanted to provide a safe and supportive space for him to share. I understand, he said gently. Sometimes the things we hide from the world are the very things that define us. Take your time, and please know that whatever it is, you're safe here. The man's eyes filled with gratitude, and Mason could see the internal struggle within him. After a moment, the man took a deep breath and spoke the words that would change the course of their lives forever. I'm transgender, he whispered his voice shaking slightly. I'm transitioning to my true self, and I'm terrified. Mason felt a surge of emotions as he heard the man's words, empathy, respect, and a deep sense of honor that this stranger had chosen to share such an intimate truth with him. I'm honored that you felt comfortable enough to share that with me. He replied, his voice warm and sincere and I want you to know that you're absolutely safe here. Shoe Secrets is a space for everyone to embrace their true selves. The man, whose name was Ethan, as Mason would later learn, began to open up, sharing his story of self-discovery and the challenges he faced. He spoke of the fear and anxiety that had plagued him for years and the newfound courage he had found to embrace his true identity. It hasn't been easy. Ethan confessed, his eyes shining with a mixture of hope and apprehension. But finding this store, finding you, has given me a sense of hope. It's like this place is a beacon for those of us searching for acceptance. Mason's heart swelled with pride and a sense of purpose. He understood the weight of Ethan's words and the importance of the safe haven 
he had created. You're absolutely right, he affirmed, offering a gentle smile. That's exactly what this store represents, a space for transformation, acceptance, and self-love. And I'm glad it led you to me, Ethan. We're going to help you find your true self, one fabulous pair of shoes at a time if that's what you want. Ethan's face lit up with a mixture of relief and joy, and Mason saw the beginnings of a newfound confidence in his eyes. Thanks for watching, my girlies! Be sure to check out Patreon for more!